Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on total derivative part 2. In the first part, we see the definition of total derivative and then we solve few problems on total derivative. In today's session, we are going to see application of total derivative that is how to differentiate implicit functions using total derivative. Let us have a quick recap on total derivative. If u is a function of x and y and x and y are the functions of t, then the total derivative du by dt is equal to dou u by dou x into dx by dt plus dou u by dou y into dy by dt. In this session, we are going to differentiate the implicit functions. For this, we need some little basic. What is a function? A function is the rule that assigns for every input you should have exactly one output. If I say y equal to f of x, then for each value of x, I should have a corresponding value y. Here x is independent and y is depending on x. But now, how this rule can be written down? Let us see. The functions are split into two types. One is explicit function. A function is said to be explicit function, then the dependent variable y should be isolated one side of the equation and it can be expressed directly in terms of x. For example, you can see y equal to x square or y equal to 2x plus 3. Here, the independent variable is in the right hand side and the dependent variable y is in the left hand side. These are all some examples. So, it is very clear if I have a x, I will give an input to the function y equal to f of x, then I will get one output. So, I will choose the input x and substitute in the right hand side and I can calculate the result directly and I can find y in the case of explicit functions. Now, what is mean by implicit function? A function is said to be implicit function where the dependent variable y and the independent variable x are not isolated. They are intermingled. For example, you take x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 24. Here, I cannot write y on the left hand side and x on the right hand side. So, here y is not isolated. So, we can see some examples. So, the implicit function is like f of x comma y is equal to 0 where the explicit functions are directly y is equal to f of x. We can see some example like x square plus y square equal to 25. 3xy plus y cube equal to 10, sin of x plus y is equal to y, x power y is equal to y power x. Here, I cannot express y in terms of x directly. So, it is little complex. Hope you understand the difference between implicit function and explicit functions. To find the value of y, we have to choose a value of x but the problem is when you solve it will not give a unique solution it might be giving multiple answer for example you take x square plus y square equal to 25 equation of circle if you choose x equal to 3 and when you substitute here you may get y equal to plus or minus 4 so let us have a quick recap explicit function are directly y equal to f of x while the implicit function are intermingled that is f of x comma y equal to 0 by direct calculation i can find y here i cannot find y i have to solve okay now why we are seeing all this basic how to differentiate this implicit function using total derivative that is our aim just recall the definition of total derivative now the previous result can be written as a differential form like simply df is equal to dou f by dou x into dx dou f by dou y into dy if you say u is a function of x and y i can write this as du is equal to dou u by dou x dx plus dou u by dou y dy where du is called as total differential of u now if i take the implicit function f of x comma y equal to 0 that's why i gave all the basics now you understand implicit function means it can be expressed as f of x comma y equal to 0 now the total differential for this function is df equal to 0 just now we see df is dou f by dou x into dx plus dou f by dou y into dy now substituting this we get the corresponding equation but my aim is to differentiate differentiate this implicit function. So, rearranging the terms to find dy by dx, I can write dou f by dou y into dy is equal to minus dou f by dou x into dx. I want dy by dx. So, rearranging the terms, we get dy by dx is minus dou f by dou x divided by dou f by dou y. 
and we always use the notation do f by do x is simply f x and do f by do y as f y therefore d y by d x is equal to minus f x divided by f y so now i can differentiate the implicit function very easily using the concept from total derivative provided the denominator f y should not be equal to zero simply now if your implicit function f of x comma y is equal to some constant c is given to you to find dy by dx first find the partial derivative of f with respect to x and find the partial derivative of f with respect to y and then write minus fx by fy will give you the first derivative hope you understand let us go into the problem x cube plus y cube is equal to 3axy is given problem we have to find dy by dx in your school days what you do you just differentiate normally 3x square plus 3y square dy by dx on the right hand side keep 3a constant xy we have to apply uv rule the keeping x y differentiation is 1 into dy by dx plus keeping y as constant differentiation of x is 1 now you simplify this to find dy by dx these things are not needed using total derivative we are going to solve the problem very simply even for the complicated functions okay let us see how to solve this first to solve this i need f but the problem is given in terms of equation convert this equation into f the given problem is x cube plus y cube is equal to 3axy so let us bring all the content to one side x cube plus y cube minus 3axy equal to 0 now take the left hand side as my function f of x comma y simply you take it as f therefore f is equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3axy we have to remember the formula for dy by dx that is minus fx by fy so let us find fx the partial derivative of f with respect to x is 3x square second term no x so it is 0 third term 3a y is constant differentiation of x is 1 so we get 3x square minus 3ay now differentiate f partially with respect to y we get 3y square minus 3ax and differentiation of y is 1 now substitute this fx and fy in the formula we get minus 3 x square minus 3ay divided by 3y square minus 3ax take 3 common we get x square minus ay in the numerator and y square minus ax in the denominator now we can cancel this 3 and multiply minus either in the numerator or in the denominator if i am multiplying in the denominator my solution is x square minus ay divided by ax minus y square if i multiply the minus in the numerator we get ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax all the three are correct now you may have a question that i can solve this problem directly without using this implicit formula but when the problems are complicated it is very tough to use the direct method let us see one such problem find dy by dx for the given equation x power y plus y power x equal to c it is not easy to do directly so let us use the formula dy by dx is equal to minus fx by fy before we solve the problem we recall the simple formulas on differentiation which we going to use in this problem differentiation of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 for my convenience instead of n i am going to take a as constant so differentiation of x power a is a into x power a minus 1 now differentiation of a power x this is x power a a is constant here a power x a is constant differentiation of a power x is a power x into log a now as usual let us take f is equal to x power y plus y power x minus c now we have to find fx differentiate f partially with respect to x when you differentiate f partially with respect to x y is considered to be 
constant. So x power y looks like x power a. So x power y differentiation is y into x power y minus 1 plus y power x differentiation partially with respect to x. y is considered to be constant. It look like a power x. So y power x into log y. In the similar way, now we have to differentiate f partially with respect to y. When I differentiate partially with respect to y, my x is considered to be constant. So x power y looks like a power x. x power y into log x plus y power x differentiation is x into y power x minus 1 since here x is considered to be constant. Therefore, we found both fx and fy. Now we have to substitute this fx and fy in the formula dy by dx and we get the solution and very important you should not miss the minus so we don't want to simplify much we can stop here hope you understand thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends see you in the next video bye bye